A very important aspect of being an organized researcher is to keep a log of the commands you type and the results you get when analyzing your data. In Stata, you can do that using a log file, or simply a log, which is a file that allows you to make a full record of your Stata session by, as the name says, keeping a log of both the input, the commands you run, and the output, the results you get. So we're talking pretty much about the things you see in your results window. A log file will save all that information, including the mistakes you make, for example, so that you can access it later. Now that we've gone through the basics, let's see an example. Now we're back to Stata, and I wanna show you how to create a log file and the different possibilities, the different options that you have when you're using the command to create a log file, the different types of log files, and so on. Before we do that, just make sure your memory, your state of memory is clean. You can use clear all to do that. And also make sure that your working directory is the folder that you created to be the working directory. In my case, it's my project and it's located in my desktop. So go ahead and make sure you have clean status memory and that your working directory is set in place. After you've done this, let's go ahead and create a log file. And the command to do this is log using my log. This is the most simple syntax that you can use to create a log file. So just follow my lead for now. You can choose whatever name you want. I'm choosing my log and press enter. So when you do this, Stata is going to say that it opened a log file, the date, the type of the log file, if we do it this way, it's going to be SMCL, which is Stata Markup Control Language. You don't really need to know that right now, don't worry about it. And let's jump to some commands. Let's use some commands. First, I'm just gonna use some random commands, so don't worry about the commands too much. I just wanna show you how the log file works. So let's open the data set called auto, which is already in Stata. You can use says use auto to do that. Then let's keep the three first variables, make price and MPG, enter. Let's, uh, why don't we summarize these variables? You can use the command summarize to do it. So it's a new command for your repertoire. And here you have some basic summary statistics. Don't worry too much about this right now and let's close our log file. So let's finish our log file by typing log, close, and press enter. So just like I explained to you in the beginning of the video, we have created a log file and it kept track of all the commands we ran, all this part here in blue, actually this part here in blue. From the moment you type the log file to the moment you close, it's going to keep a record of everything. And this should be in our working directory. Here it is, my log. You see it's a Stata SMCL document. If you click it, it's going to open the Stata Viewer and here you have your file. So it recorded everything that you typed. Look, the sys use auto, the keep, make, price, MPG, the summarize, as well as the results, the output. And now that we're back to Stata, I wanna show you some tweaks that you can do to this command. So the first one is you use, let's create another log using my log, another log file called my log and see what happens. Okay, this is a, an error here, that's why it's in red. The thing, we're trying to create a file that already exists, like you can see here. So what Stata is saying is that, well, the file already exists, you cannot create it. But we can't overcome this. Just type log using my log or whatever name you choose and then add an option which comes after a comma in Stata called replace. So what we're telling Stata here is, look, I want to create a file called my log. And in case there's another file already named my log, I want you to replace it. So you're going, you're going to overwrite this file. Press enter. I'm just going to type one command here, clear all. Go ahead, you can do this command or whatever other command you prefer. I just wanna show you how it works. Press enter and log close, so let's close the log file and go back here. Let's open it once again. So we only have clear all now, but it's the same name. The name is still my log as MCL. So what happened is Stata overwrote the, the, older, the old file that we had. See, 
the old file that already exists in my log is now has been overwritten by this new file because we use the option replace. So every time you're creating a log file and you want to overwrite your current log file, just use the option replace. The next thing I want to show you is how you can create a log file in the text format. So instead of the log type being SMCL, it's going to be TXT. To do this, go back here. I want this highlighted. Go back to the command and type log using my log again, dot log, comma, replace, and press enter. And now I'm just going to type another command, the old, good old sys use auto enter and log close enter. I just want to show you what happened. Let's go back to our project folder. And here you see now you have two different log files. But this one is a text document. So if you open it, it's going to open in a regular notepad or whatever text editor you like to use. And here's your log file.